This is the real life of James CD. And I happen to be the real James CD. This is delicious this evening. Uh, I haven't done it in a while, and I thought to myself <clears throat> when I created this series that the, the nice thing about doing the real life of James Heaney is that if I can't find anything else to do, at least I know I have to do the dishes every day. The dishes are there. Well, I'll be honest. I realize that there are, first of all, some days that I don't do the dishes. And as soon as there's a day I don't do the dishes and I skip the video, blah, 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 one thing leads to another. And I don't end up doing a, a, sh a video. This is the designated time. I thought to myself I had gone through perhaps all of the doing dishes videos I can. And maybe I did. I don't know. I'm not sure. But what I do know is I could still make a video of doing the dishes even if it's bad. It's better to do something as hard as you can and have it turn out bad than to not do it at all. And not doing it at all is what I've been doing. So let's change things. I have these dishes here today, and these dishes are special to me because I took some risks this evening and I made some things that I've never done before in my whole life. Maybe I'll make a video on how to do those things. I'll just, let me just show you something. Maybe this is common in all households, but I happen to have ginger root. And this ginger root is something I have never owned, but I've seen a couple of times at Whole Foods. And I thought to myself, who in the world would ever stock their kitchen with ginger root? Then, the other day I went to, I happened to be lucky and live in Venice. People think health is a really important thing in Venice. And I live in Abikini, and on it, well, I don't live on Abikini. I live really close to Abikini in Venice. And that's a very, very hip street with a lot of expensive places to shop and eat. Uh... And one of those places is called Creations, and they have all organic stuff. This is a really long story, but it's going to explain a few things about this evening. This store on Abbot Kinney called Creation, with a K, uh, sells juices that cost as much as shots that you'd purchase at a bar. So, like, it's five bucks for a shot of ginger and, like, cucumber and, like, whatever. It's crazy cre you know what? Let me just tell you. First of all, I never advertise for any companies out there because I just don't believe in in faking it. And this is a good chance to say, hey, I have a commercial agent, uh, and if I get work, I will start faking it. But this far, I've lived without having to fake it at all. And... I feel safe in saying that while this is completely overpriced, atrociously overpriced, and I feel snotty even thinking that I would eat these things, all of those things aside, I, this is the best stuff I've put in my mouth in a long time. So let's just look at what they serve. If you are going on a juice diet um, where you don't eat any food, you just drink juice, and it happens in California a lot. This is where you can go. And it's, uh, you know, if I'm fasting, it's because I'm trying to save money. Let me just look here. The food there is not that overpriced, but if you start going there for the juices, here it is. $10.95 for a, for a juice in, in a glass this size. Sorry. In a glass this size. This is... It's let's call it sixteen ounces, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was fifteen. It's that kind. Of, it's it's that kind of place where it's like, oh, fifteen ounces is fancy, All right? So for eleven dollars in that size bottle, you can have a juice that um, has, and this is the best one of all of them. It's uh, okay. It's called. It's their synchronized one. They have eight different choices of eleven dollar, fifteen ounce juices. Eleven dollars. $11. Just keep that in mind. I'm a cheapskate, okay? $11. And in that, it has dandelion, kale, cilantro, pear, pineapple, jalapeno, fennel, basil, turmeric, mint, cucumber, parsley, celery, spinach, romaine, which is obviously lettuce, 
lemon, and Himalayan salt. Now, that was the first one that I tried from this place, and I'm the kind of guy that, like, I eat ramen noodles because I can get them for 13 cents a package, okay? And that's a deal. I'm looking for ounce per ounce. And my girlfriend bought this synchronized $11 juice. I didn't know how much it was, but she said she wouldn't tell me because it was that expensive, so I had no idea what the cost was. Um, and I had never put anything so good in my mouth ever in my life. And I have put a lot of things in my mouth. Uncountable things. Uh, and it was amazing. And there was two other things that she had brought back. Uh, she makes more money at her job than I make. But, so when she goes to a shop, she doesn't even look at prices. She's just like, oh, $11 juice? That sounds like something I want. But she also purchased uh, a, a wrap that was, I think it was like a Caesar wrap, whatever, it was great. That was the best deal there. It was like 10 bucks for a huge wrap. Actually, it actually passes my, uh, my frugal gourmet, uh, price range. So, what was I saying? And so, and the last thing was kale chips, which brings this whole damn dish thing to fruition. So these kale chips were the perfect te texture. It was kale that was, I think, baked. I mean, I haven't gotten their secrets yet, but it was baked to perfection where it was like, it would crumble and crunch almost like a chip, but almost more satisfying. It was like a frilly chip, like a really frilly chip. Oh, that's a horrible way to describe it, but I love potato chips. I hate being healthy. These things were amazing in my mouth, but they had this flavoring that was like cayenne pepper, which pretty it was pretty spicy, but I don't mind spicy. As you've probably noticed, I've eaten some spicy stuff. That didn't kill me, but it was also really sour and salty. And I was like, you know what? These are so great. I'd like to have them just plain. So I looked up how to bake kale chips. Which got me into this trouble in the first place. I have tons of dishes to do. And I might even have some kale chips left over. Hold on a moment. So this was my first attempt at making kale chips. And I'll admit, they aren't as good as the kale chips made at this place called Creations. They made amazing kale chips. But trying the recipe my first time, the problem is it's soggy. These kale chips from Creation, you could hold it up and it was like a potato chip. So that part I messed up. The flavor of it's great. Put a little too much salt on it, but I didn't put any cayenne pepper. I just wanted it plain. And I realized what the mistake is, is for some reason, I didn't put that much salt on it, but it really flavors it a lot. I think it might be the oil and baking it, but it just tastes really salty. I'm trying to figure out how I can show this. Yeah, so it's like, the problem is, is my stem is all noodly. And they had it where the stem was like a, like a stick. But you might be able to hear that these do crunch like a chip, but it only crunches at the leaf part. They taste, they taste really good in a healthy way. It's changing my life. It's like a potato chip made out of good for you. Potato chip made out of good for you. Mmm. But, nonetheless, <laughs> they're messy. And not only to eat, but to make. And now I have a lot of dishes. We can reverse engineer this kale chip recipe. I'm not going to cook it again for you. But maybe I will. Not tonight, obviously. Tonight, this is the end of the night. I was ready for bed. I had had my kale chips, enjoyed all of the things, my, and my lovely lady reminded me that, you know, you can't leave those dishes overnight. I'm not doing your dishes for your scientific experiments, which she liked. She liked both the... Oh, I haven't even told the whole story. This is a good one. I can't believe how well this is. Uh, panning out. But the other thing that I made tonight, along with using olive oil and sea salt and dill, 
in this and with this brush that I bought just for it and I brushed the kale to then bake it at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. <clears throat> there, that's the recipe. You can you can decipher it. So that's what cost a lot of dishes, but the other thing was the ginger. Because of the wonderful juice I had there, I'll, the one thing, I, there was ginger and cayenne pepper. And I said to myself, this is amazing. I've never had anything like it. It's the best juice in the world. So I thought to myself, well, what parts are really special? It was the ginger and the cayenne pepper. Because all the other things I could imagine in juice, except for romaine lettuce, and I think to myself, that's just where they're getting their water, and they want to call it from somewhere. But... So I decided I would make uh, vodka drinks with ginger. Well, and here's the thing. I drink a lot of coffee throughout the day. Un inhuman amounts. Like, literally, I will, and this is not like on a heavy coffee drinking day. I drink two of these a day. Minimum. Never drank less than that in a day. Sometimes more. But I thought to myself, I love the taste of ginger so much in this juice. I could, gin I, I could drink ginger juice all day long and probably be healthier than drinking so much coffee. Coffee's healthy. That much coffee is dangerous to any human being. So I got ginger, and the first thing I thought to myself was, it's after 8 o'clock p.m. on a Thursday night, and I feel like I'm making a lot of different recipes. So I've decided I'm going to try making ginger into a vodka drink. So I chop up ginger and I actually press it with a garlic press to get the juice out of it. And this drink, I make myself a total of four drinks. And I give one to my girlfriend and she doesn't like it, but she's still drinking it. So I made four amazing drinks, but it took me 30 minutes to juice about this much of a ginger root. I mix it with uh, I mixed it with orange juice and ginger and one cube of ice and one giant strawberry per drink. This is gross, I know, but I get frozen strawberries and these strawberries are <laughs> better than ice cubes and they keep it cold because it's frozen. Mm. Yeah. There is a lot of ginger in there. I juiced a bunch of it. I had no idea how strong ginger really was. I, mean, I knew, but I was worried I couldn't taste it past the orange juice. So that's where I'm, where I am. I have tons of dishes, and my girlfriend saw all of the dishes out, and was like, "I can't believe this place is so trashed. You have to do these dishes." I wasn't gonna. And the truth is, I was gonna let it slide. I was gonna let it slide, and that's a problem. I need to do these dishes right now. And I need to start making dish videos more often. Everybody that agrees, please leave a comment there. This is...